Good morning, South Central Ambulance Service. How can I help? One of the UK's most important public services has been transformed by the contemporary design and build practice Metro Design Consultants. Metro beat off fierce competition to win two high-profile contracts from the South Central Ambulance Service NHS Trust. Premises at Winchester and Vista had to incorporate fail-safe communications and challenge commonly held conceptions about working in a call centre environment. The service wanted the highest standards delivered in the shortest possible time and within a strict budget. We identified Metro as the company with the flair and the ideas and the design concepts to deliver that for us. The aim was to improve efficiency, boost staff morale and ultimately represent value for money to the taxpayer. Modern interiors with open plan areas, special design call centres, meeting rooms and directors offices give a feeling of tranquility in a hectic environment. They've understood what we're about and what we require from our uh, accommodation. We thought we had a really good design when we went out to tender. It was a, a design and build contract, but with Metro's experience, they added another dimension to it. We challenged their design quite heavily, but they could see that what we were bringing to the table was actually enhancing their design. Because of the way the Metro are structured, I believe, in terms of their construction and parts of their supply chain, they can begin to reduce the cost associated with that. So in essence, the design that the client saw was the design that was delivered on the ground. We're good designers. Now, um, if we call ourselves architectural interior designers, then we should be able to understand how we can get best value for money for a client's budget. At Otterbourne, the 1970s building posed challenges of its own and is situated in a country setting and on a reservoir. The original structures have been made into design features with vaulted ceilings, creating dramatic and inspiring places. It's like a farmyard building, outbuilding, which uh, had exposed beams and, and so forth, and we could see the vision. And the transformation was really something, and they brought a lot of innovation to the table in terms of the technologies that they wanted to employ. Old colours, glass walkways and effective use of light create a sense of space and calmness. An antidote to what is a highly pressured working environment. We've really managed to incorporate the emergency call centre into the rest of the building. We've got a mezzanine floor down there. Originally, uh, we are planning to do just a, um, using a balustrade to divide that set um, ground floor and the mezzanine floor, but the space is so narrow, so we decided to do the angled a glass petition. And you can look through the glass from the corporate areas right over the whole call centre. And the call centre for an ambulance service is absolutely at the heart of what we do. The main challenges for us were not just the design as such, but the mechanical input that went into the building that was um, substantial. The reliability of both buildings' infrastructure has been guaranteed with extensive resilience built into energy supplies. And despite a minuscule time frame, special buildings were constructed to encapsulate generators and services. At Vista, issues with the power supply were solved by using gas to run the air conditioning. And over a thousand different data wires are facilitated through the 1960s building. It's a much better environment for the staff. It's, uh, we have a much more efficient system here. We have a much more efficient telephony system. The fixtures and fittings are again design-led and mainly bespoke, but have been carefully chosen to be fit for purpose and provide optimum safety and comfort for employees. The working space is also flexible, with the use of glass screens to segregate or open up different areas as and when required. Special workstations were designed to maximise space, but also give a feeling of well-being. Colourful rooms have also been designed as quiet spaces for people to relax after a particularly harrowing emergency call. There are a variety of smart, relaxing places for impromptu meetings or for just having a cup of coffee. The South Central Ambulance Service NHS Trust now has revolutionary new workspaces and infrastructures that meet the highest environmental and building standards, achieving the BRIAM mark, which sets the benchmark for best practice in sustainable design. I'm now getting chased by the rest of the organisation to say, right, when are we due for an upgrade? We want that standard here as well. 
we have created with Metro and our, and our project managers and architects what I think is a fantastic building here. It's modern, it's light, it's professional and it smacks of an organisation that's got ambition. Listed among Metro's clients are multinationals and public concerns, incorporating those in the media, advertising, legal, financial and health sectors. These include St Bartholomew's Hospital, Super Union Unite, aviation company Boeing, reinsurance corporate Endurance, household insurance company Domestic and General, and now the South Central Ambulance Service. Metro's work places the National Health Service at the forefront of workspace design.